The U.S. program, launched under the Donald Trump administration, is claimed to be a human return to the moon and is a preparation for flights into more distant space, in particular Mars. The first unmanned launch of the Orion spacecraft on an SLS carrier rocket with the Artemis-1 mission is expected to take place this August. It will be followed by the Artemis-2 mission, an unmanned flight to orbit the moon. The first manned mission to orbit the moon, the Artemis-3 mission, will take place two years after the unmanned mission. Paul Martin, the chief auditor of NASA, said that the U.S. lunar program Artemis, designed until 2025, will cost $93 billion. It is expected that a human flight to a satellite of the Earth will not earlier than 2026. He explained, due to technical difficulties and delays in the first three Artemis missions and the time required to build the lander and spacesuits, NASA will delay its current plan to land a man on the moon in 2024, at least for several years. It is noted that each launch of the program's first four missions will exceed $4 billion. By the way, the new set of declassified reports describes the most incredible scientific ideas, such as a tunnel to the center of the moon and travel through wormholes. Among the advanced technologies, scientists were trying to create were invisibility cloaks, anti-gravity devices, passable wormholes, and even tunneling through the moon with a nuclear blast. More recently, all of these previously classified documents have been made public. It is noted that the classified program of the U.S. Department of Defense conducted its activities from 2007 to 2012. The first time the program became known was only in 2017 when the former head of AATIP left the Pentagon. Then the former head of the secret program Luis Elizondo released to the press several videos of unidentified objects, which were immediately called UFOs. But the documents revealed indicate that the secret program wasn't just about UFOs. Most intriguing are the military intelligence background documents discussing the possibility of various advanced technologies. These include reports concerning passable wormholes, stargates, negative energy, high-frequency communication via gravitational waves, warp drive, dark energy, and manipulation of extra dimensions. To reach the center of the moon, the authors of the report suggested cutting a tunnel using thermonuclear explosives. It is unclear whether the ambitious projects have received any long-term funding. Much of AATIP's activities relied on a contract with the private research company Bigelow Aerospace Advanced Space Studies.